Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes. This show just got weird. I put in a dollar for Okay, that. so let's let's turn it around. Let's turn it around to something we can all discuss. Because okay. you don't have to watch any wrestling to discuss this. And uh, let's, let's get into it. Uh, Ring of Honor. Uh, great wrestling promotion. Like, you yeah. Know, you know, number three in the country. You know, they're, they're doing great stuff. They aren't necessarily doing some great stuff with iPay-per-views. The iPay-per-views have had problems in the past, and their most recent iPay-per-view for Best in the World 2013 had tons and tons of problems. Uh, to the point where, you know, it was people couldn't watch the show. To, to most of the degree. And uh, Ring of Honor announced this week that uh, they're done doing iPay-per-views. They released a statement saying, then you know, no more iPay-per-views, we're not doing it anymore. We're going to have events live on demand. Our big sort of pay-per-view-esque events are going to be live on demand. Um, I, I wanted to discuss this because I, I, I don't know the tech behind doing our pay-per-views. I don't know what all goes involved. I know Sorg probably would know a bit more than I would. But I think the, the thing that irks me, and I mentioned this on Twitter, it's not the fact that uh, independent wrestling companies have problems with their eye pay per views. My big problem is how certain companies sort of handle those problems and also how they handle the customers that sort of uh, have to go through those problems. Mm -hmm. those, that's my big issue. When Ring of Honor or even a company like Dragon Gate USA who is, or Evolve, which has been given a lot of crap, and I think rightfully so for the way they've handled it, the whole idea of uh, yeah, sorry you couldn't view the pay-per-view, it's going to be on demand within like a day. I think that is absolutely piss poor. It, when people need to realize you're not just devoting $10, $15 to a wrestling show. You're, you're donating that money because you want to see it live as it happens, spoiler free, so you can get immersed in it. I can't get immersed, and being the independent wrestling guy, I can't get immersed in a DVD or a video yeah. on demand like I can an actual show that I'm seeing happen and seeing play out. Mm -hmm. It is an entirely different experience. And, you know, even companies like Ring, uh, like Dragon Gate USA, I, I forgot if it was Dragon Gate or Evolve, they had serious problems with one of their most recent iPay-per-views. They put it out for them on demand so they could, you know, give it to their viewers. And, like, half of it was missing like, the first half wasn't there for people to watch. Like, it's horrible. You know, it's, it, and it, it, it's, it does seem like, uh, and this is where the discussion kind of led on the Facebook, was uh, the problem is, like, a lot of these guys, it, it, I don't want to say, I don't want to say this in a way, uh, in a certain way here, but people, they, they want to be able to do these things that are going to make them money, like I pay per views, but they don't want to mm -hmm. put the time and money into it to do it right. You know, and especially, and it's even worse with a case like Ring of Honor because they sit there and they promote it on national TV week after week for these eye pay per views, get mm -hmm. probably better numbers than everybody else because of that, and then this happens and they don't handle it. I, I, and that's the response I think a lot of fans are giving them is like, you're on national television. Yeah. Why can you not be doing good eye pay? -per -views? You're owned by a television set. A, I know they're conglomerate, taped, but like. But still, like it's it's absolutely ridiculous, and it's more for like I said, it's more about the whole customer service aspect. Mm -hmm. I I hate that wrestling companies decide to not treat it like a an actual business. No, exactly, and that's exactly it. Uh, you know, I for as much as Ring of Honor does well, uh, going to like the recent Pittsburgh show, and maybe you saw this at your San Antonio show, uh, uh, Amen. Uh, mm -hmm. But like I looked down and I saw their audio setup and everything, and it's not too much different than what we do at IWC. No, really. And they and, had a hard cam and a couple really nice cameras, but and I'm just talking like, about what they have in the back. You know, I mean, just just uh, it's not like okay, they got those lights, but other than that, they're not putting a lot more into it. It looks like it's not like yeah. really Prime Wrestling has more tech behind that show than Ring of Honor does. Legit, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, from what I'm seeing there, maybe it's more stuffed in the back. I don't know, but it, it really, I, I feel, I feel like from what I've seen, other than HD Net days, uh, it, it does feel like that's what's happening. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know, I don't know what system they're using. Uh, they're, apparently, they have a redundancy problem, 
I, they're, if they're seriously going in not testing and depending on the internet sitting in those armories, gymnasiums, whatever the hell they're using, I, I don't know. You can't do that. Guys, that's such a that's such a crapshoot that. that you know that's not you, you know the you way to go. Or, or maybe they're, maybe they're like some of the guys I've heard. They're like, oh yeah, we use like this MiFi hotspot thing and, and and to connect and everything. Like, no, that's horrible quality. I'm paying fifteen dollars for this, you know. Uh, yeah. And that's and those are the things hearing every hearing about the problems with Ring of Honor, who should be the one that's the best at this, right? Yeah, out of anybody. Uh, I hear them having problems. That gives me pause. Every time I'm like, oh, there's a pay-per-view. Uh, I'm not going to bother with that. you know. And I want to support them. I buy a ticket every time they come to town. I try to watch the show anytime I can. I talk them up to other people that are tied to WWE. You know? I have friends saying that are completely down with Ring of Honor versus everything else. Um, yeah. It, it, and even like the – like in the aspect of the customer service stuff, I look at a company like Chikara who hasn't done – necessarily perfect eye pay-per-views no they, they they had their issues normally they're pretty good though um but when Chikara does theirs and people are tweeting them and facebooking them about the problems they are having as the eye pay-per-view is happening Chikara is doing tech support mm-hmm. they're going to twitter and they're trying to, to diagnose these problems and they're trying to get it done if you message a company like ring of honor or dragon gate usa you won't hear from them till like hours after the end of the show yeah, yeah, and then and then that's having somebody that gets that. You know what I mean? Uh, mm-hmm. Chikara's always been ahead of the curve as far as media and online and everything like that. Uh, I, I I bet you, uh, and I I don't know for sure, but I bet like you know when Dave Lagana was over at Ring of Honor, you know how big he was in his social media. I don't think that would have happened if he had anything to do with it. And I know he was uh, in charge of some of the IP review production. Uh, so that's you know one of those things. It just people. Uh, some of these guys just don't get it, you know. Some of these guys that that, that should know better. They're they're respected companies, you know. That you know, you know. Like I, I dig on Evolve and Dragon Gate and Ring of Honor and all the rest of them. But yeah, you, you're a business like everybody else, guys. You know, just because it's a wrestling business, it's still a business in the name, guys. And you gotta treat it like that. Um, and, uh, and and it's sad to see this. And that's the reason I always get paused. I don't want to do IP reviews until I know I can do it and not have this problem. Because that makes everybody look bad. That makes my company look bad. That makes their company look bad. I'm not going to do it, you know, unless I start listing off all the factors and the and the, and the threat. I'm not getting into that to get here. Uh, uh, Mike, do you have any thoughts on this? Well, I mean, I've never ordered a an on like an iPay per view or anything like online like that for those specific reasons because mm-hmm. I've never heard, not even from WWE, like I've heard, I've never heard that. Oh, the streaming was magnificent. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. if I want to watch something and watch it and pay good heart, hard-earned money to watch it, and I have a choice between my little computer monitor with possibly not excellent streaming or the big-ass TV I have sitting down in my living room, mm-hmm. and I have those options, I'm going to take the living room. Not ten times out of ten. Yeah, and, and still, now, like, now and now like, take into account though um, a lot of things like uh, I pay per views on Go Fight Live and uh, now WWE streams and everything. You can get on your Xbox, Roku, stuff like that. So that's becoming like an internet TV option. Like that's an option but, for me. But as it a also cord depends too. on your connection. Yes, of course. Because I mean, I live in an old building. Yeah. My connection in my living room. Yeah. To my Wi Fi is way worse than my connection in my bedroom. Of course. Like, of course. I, like, I can't play Xbox. I can't play games like But Xbox more and more people are getting over that I hurdle mean? that it's becoming an option, or else we wouldn't all have Roku boxes out, out there, right? Um, so, and, and yeah, and there's still people like you that do have that issue. Um, but, I mean, the, the, but even like something like this as an option for experimenting with some of the, 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 the um, indies? I don't know. I mean, when. when the only kind of streams I watch online are the less than legal streams I get at Justin's house. Yes. <laughs> and those are usually, like, although those are broadcast live through the internet, yeah. their source is from a TV. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And those are magnificent streams. And we do need to cite, we do need to cite that, uh, uh, yes, WWE had a similar problem with their new Xbox and everything else app pay-per-view with wrestlemania and they didn't give any kind of refund either and that's no even, they did they did for they did? some people they did okay not for everyone but okay because i mean i think it's a slightly different though because wwe 
I, I'm not saying you can do that, but mm-hmm. when it happens, they're not losing a they, – they may not lose a huge majority of their audience because they're the top dog and they're this giant conglomerate. And, and when yeah. you're an independent wrestling company, you need every customer that you can get. Exactly. And you should be doing everything in your power to keep those customers. Exactly. It's exactly. like how you run any business. If I go into a restaurant and my food is 30 minutes late and none of the wait staff acknowledges me – Mm-hmm. whatsoever and it comes out cold or whatever i don't go to that restaurant again lb i don't people think... don't realize that with yeah. professional wrestling lb uh lb I, I don't think you've done a live stream but i mean is, is this the kind of news that gives you pause going into trying these in general um i i have done I, i've done a live stream through wwe before not yeah ring of honor yeah um and I, I have two reactions. I'm all off center. I'm sorry. I have two reactions to this story. The first thing was um, when I when I just saw the headline, I thought, do we even have to report this? Ring of Honor has an eye per view problem. That's not news. The news, I think, and good for them, is that they're getting out of the eye per view business. Yeah. Um, because mm-hmm. it's because it's not working. So good for them there. Uh, the other thing is I have um, streamed a WWE pay per view. Legally, with the monies and the browser to the to the television and so on and so forth, and they had problems with it. Mm-hmm. You know, they're the ones who can spend the money and the time and the resources, the employees to take care of these problems, and they had problems with it. So I'm not shocked that Ring of Honor and and Chikara and any other company would have a huge problem with it. Mm-hmm. I say good for Ring of Honor for getting out of the iPay-Per-View business. It's still a, it's a really good opportunity for a lot of these companies to get themselves out there and I know everybody wants this to happen, but I really think the the technology at this level is too immature for trying yeah. to get this much money out of people. You know what I, I mean? I think I think it's like what you said, Sorg, if you have that surety and you know it's going to work, then do it. Listen, well, fr- wait, wait, do you guys remember like back? Uh, I'm sorry, so I didn't mean to interrupt. Go ahead, but go ahead. I remember back in the '90s when my mom would order pay per views for me. Mm-hmm. We would have so many problems with the cable companies. Yes, yes. Because I remember calling like like I would have friends over, like parties of friends over to watch wrestling pay per views, and we'd wait and we'd wait and we'd watch and we. As soon as we saw the warning label come up, like "Do not copy this," and all, we all cheered because we're like, "The pay per view went through." People still, do. but if it yeah, didn't, yeah. Mm-hmm. then then they had then my mom had to call the cable company. Brother, you do would stay dude, on hold with them for up to an hour. We had satellite, man. We had Prime Star. We had uh, Direct TV. We're like, "Oh, is this supposed to rain?" Oh man, I really need to see Starcade. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's a whole other a whole other can of worms. But I, even I remember seeing going to uh, Remedy's place. Uh, to see uh, Survivor Series, and it's on Comcast, and we didn't get it. We sat there. We're like, hmm. So I guess there's a Survivor Series, huh? So, uh, but <laughs> well, yeah, sweet you're, right. you're right, but I, but still, I think uh, you're not having enough instance of success with iPay per views to make it worth it. It's too early, and you need that redundancy. I have a, a good friend that does really interesting things that can go horribly, horribly wrong for high paying clients, and the redundancy, the ideas of redundancy you do with that kind of thing on that level, um, and, and with other companies that you know I, I, I listen to as kind of like where they go. Uh, and this is on the technical side, guys. But you got to think about, yeah, okay, yeah, the cable dropped the ball, or is a disconnection there? But you got to think, when WWE does WrestleMania, do you know how many backups they have? The only reason the Super Bowl had a problem is because the damn power went out in the place. And notice we still had a video feed. I mean, that gives you an idea of what WWE is doing. Because that is a production, that is a major production. And if Ring of Honor, is, you know, something like, oh, the internet goes down, or... Or something, you know, is there a backup plan? How can you have a backup plan when you're dependent on the facility's internet? I, again, I'm presuming they're not going off anything else. Um, I don't know. Uh, but that really feels like they're just missing the boat on what they need to do. So. Uh,